What's happening, chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 56 on my journey to 1200 ELO. So, if you guys enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. And before we get into today's game, quick shout out to Fianchetto Club. So, if you guys want to wear the coolest chess gear out there on the market, you need to come out uh, down to the description below and check out FianchettoClub.com. Now, you can get a cool sweatshirt like mine. I'm wearing the Sack the Queen. I got the white variety. But uh, they also have these cool Poison Pawn sweatshirts. They got some cool regular sweatshirts. And they actually have just gotten some new hats. So if you guys are interested in any of that, I have a promo code, NetChess, and you guys will get 10% off. It'll help support me, the channel, and also get you to be the coolest looking guy in your chess club. So, I guess without further ado, let's get into today's game. All right, tunes, switch the scene, and here we go. Let's see who we're going to play today. So, we are rated 1073. We're playing an 1134 um, from Morocco. Pretty cool. Um, so, we're going to play a London opening. I'm playing a bit cold today. I haven't uh, warmed up with the Blitz game or anything, puzzles. So, I like to uh, play a bit different when my opponent plays a modern or like a King's Indian. Um, they could immediately kind of throw me off with a move like D5 now, though. So, if they do play D5, um, I can still play E4. It's just a little different. Uh, now I don't know what they're doing. Modern defense with D4. So I'm going to go ahead and try and take the center. I don't know how good this is. Um, this pawn is weak right now. But I feel like maybe we can play queen to D2 with this battery down this file and castle. Um, I can also get my knight out first. But I am going to actually just prepare my queen up and get ready to play this depending on when they want to uh, develop that knight. Because with the knight where it is, it's covering the square. So I will not be moving my bishop there or I will lose the bishop. But right now I'm going to just either keep developing or castle queenside. I guess I could develop and maybe I castle kingside. I actually don't know. It looks like they might be trying to prepare a pawn push. So maybe a4 is in order to kind of blunt that a little bit. I can push the pawn. I can take. Um, if I take, he takes. I don't think I need to do all that. I think I'm going to just push the pawn. Close things up. All right, my opponent wants the center opened. I'm going to develop a knight and uh, defend these pawns. So he takes. I can take back with the pawn. I could take back with the bishop. I could take back with the knight. If I take back with the bishop, he trades. I take with the knight. We have a nice outpost for our knight. Um... If I take with the knight and he, he takes, I take with the bishop, I'm threatening Z rook. So it looks like it could be a strong outpost for my knight. Um, I'm going to take with the knight. I'm ready to castle. Also, we can develop. I feel like uh, we have a decent... I mean, this has turned out to be all right so far. I feel pretty comfortable. Um, so he's got his knight out and ready to be relatively annoying, maybe. Um, I'm not 100% sure where my opponent wants to castle, or if he even does. I kind of want to castle myself right now. Could develop my bishop. I'm looking at a move like this, which I find a little bit annoying. Um... So I'm going to actually drop the bishop back with h3 if need be. So if he does something like this, I have a place for my bishop. Okay. 
Um, so he has an open F file, which is something. Um, I can just start marching pawns forward, maybe. I'm going to go to trade off this bishop as quick as I can with my queen. Castling needs to happen. I can also castle kingside if I want to. But I'm thinking about throwing pawns forward. Maybe. He can also do the same thing. So if he plays b5 right now, he can just almost the very next move play b4. I'm not very familiar in these kinds of openings. So this is a little new for me. So if I take here, he's threatening to take my knight. I take with the pawn. Um, I think I'll take the bishop just to get it off the board. And... Um, I can solidify this knight real nice and tight if I want to, which, what do they have? Can he bring the knight into here? If he does that, I take, he takes, okay. If he takes this, I take. I think we're okay. I could solidify this knight really well because it looks like he just wants to take. I mean, he moved his knight here and it's blocking his bishop. I feel like he just wants to take. If I take here, he's opening things up for sure. Um, so maybe I castle or I'm looking at a move like F4. Um, I should probably castle... We're going to castle and just play it a little safer. Um, if he takes here, I can still push these pawns. We're a little bit more developed now, and uh, I can get my bishop. My bishop needs to develop, and we should be pretty solid. Um, so it looks like he wants to take here. All right. Um I can definitely push this pawn to defend the knight if I want to. If I move my bishop here, it looks like he's just going to push. Takes, takes. If I take this pawn, he takes with the knight. It's his only way to do it. I don't think I want to do that, though. If I take, yeah. If I take this, he takes with the knight, then I could actually not take because his queen is going to see. Yeah. Okay. So I'm spending a bit of time. I think I'm going to... I don't have a way to defend this pawn except with my queen. It doesn't seem like I could take here. He takes with the queen. I don't really want to do that. I think I want to just over defend. We're going to develop the bishop to e2 and just not think about it as much. My rooks are connected. I can start pushing these pawns. So it looks like he's going to take this. Take back with the queen. I can take. I guess I have to. 
Um, the board is opening up. So I can't take this. He's defended this now. Um... I play a move like this what am I talking about let's just push these pawns I can back my queen up to help from or help you know defend these this pawn is a little bit weak right now right He's going to move his knight after that. And then I need to play something like this. Um, <clears throat> let's see. If I push this pawn, this is still defended. If I push this, he moves the knight somewhere. Where does he move the knight? He can move it here. He can also move it here, which attacks my queen. If he moves it here, I can actually take this pawn with check. This pawn is weak after that, but I think I can push it to defend it or bring a rook. I'm going to push this and if he brings his knight over here I think I'll be taking so can't play that obviously but if he moves his knight here I think I'm gonna take he takes and then maybe we push this pawn. Okay, he goes back. So this pawn is still defended. Um, this pawn is weak right now. <clears throat> what do I do? Um, I want to defend this pawn, right? So maybe we bring the queen. I'm going to push. Oh, man. I want to push it all the way, but I feel like I might need this for my queen. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe that's just silly. Um, if I push the pawn all the way. I'm really low on time, so I'm going to play F4. It's probably not the best move, but I'm going to start walking this pawn all the way up. I'm thinking about bringing my bishop now to F4, or excuse me, G4 to take. Um... Alright, so he attacks my rook. Do I have anything cool? Doesn't look like it, right? Looks like I just have to move. So, I will. And I'll drop my queen down this way. But, uh, I want to bring my bishop in like this. To attack the rook. So, the rook needs to move. Can't go here. Can't go here. So, I'd imagine he goes back to one of these two squares. And then I think I can take with check. He takes. I take. And we're getting in there. Um, so, he's attacking my queen again. 
I'm just going to uh, drop my queen back. And uh, I'm still threatening this. Uh oh, what am I doing? That was super silly. That was stupid. So, uh, super dumb. Check. Man, we'll go over that in the game review, but that was stupid. So we'll give the check with the queen. I'm looking at taking this now. Actually, I could should probably take with the rook. I don't know. I got to be careful. I, I kind of have back rank issues. So maybe taking with the knight is better. And I can get forking opportunities. All right. He takes like that. I'm going to take the pawn. And we'll have a discovery on the queen. Check coming soon maybe all right so he does that man i'm just this is atrocious huh um that's a check too wow so we'll slide over since this is now a predicament yeah i can't block with the queen i can't block with the rook yeah, I got to slide over, I guess. Not good. Not good. I thought I was being tactical, but... It seems we have lost all of our pawns and all of our advantage probably with it. I say that, and it looks like he just hung a rook, but... Um, let's see. <clears throat> I can still get checkmated. I got to be careful. Um, I'm super low on time and I'm winning now because he messed up. So I want to put pressure on. I don't really know how to do so. But I think maybe getting the man tough. This rook over here it will help me. Ah, I say that and my knight is hanging. Oh my god. What am I doing? I get so brain clouded when this stuff happens, guys. This sucks. Now his queen's coming in here. Lord of mercy. What am I doing? Um, geez Louise, um, if I come into here, what is he going to do? Ah, oh, man, I'm completely throwing this now. I am going to, before I just lose everything, make a square for my king. This is terrible. What am I doing? Just allowing him to attack me. So stupid. <laughs> Y'all are watching me literally throw this whole game. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. All right. Also, if I'd move this rook, this rook would be hanging. So there's that. Um, if I play this move, I mean, I'm just completely losing this. Ah, 
I mean, I don't know. I should have gone, or I, should, I need to go for a queen trade. <sighs> so stupid. Tighten up, tighten up. We're going for the queen trade. He's going to need to take... That'll feel a little better. so low on time and it makes me so nervous when this happens but this is annoying but I, I can take does he have another one this is almost a fork that's scary so I want to get rid of this knight as soon as I can but um so now he is threatening to be a bit mean so I'm going to move my king again this is a fork but I can take so not too worried about that this is almost a fork I want to get in on the seventh rank Uh, can't play that because that's funny because he can actually take that and I won't be able to take back. Um, but I will continue defending this pawn and attack his own. I'm going to lose this pawn, but it's okay. Part of the process. Um, I need to move the king so that this doesn't affect me as much because if you did that I wouldn't be able to take again was the problem this rook is not participating so it would be cool if we could participate um, we're gonna bring this rook over to attack all right I will bring this rook into the action to do this double on this file maybe I'm losing this whole game if I play this what does he have um, just gonna block defend my pawns try and take this one So bad. Y'all are going to have plenty of things to say, which is good. I enjoy reading your comments. They uh, they help me because I do miss some things in my in, in my reviews. So, This knight is a nuisance. I want to play something like this, but I don't I don't know. This is an annoying move if I do that. <clears throat> um so it looks like he is going to start bringing his pieces down. I should be pushing these pawns. Um, I don't want to get forked, but I feel like I'm asking for it. I want to play this move now. Trade off a set of rooks. 
push my pawns. You can take with the knight. I'm going to play rook up here and go to take one of his pawns, I think. He can move his king here. All right, so he does that. I am going to throw this pawn forward. push if I push he has this which is obnoxious so I'm going to bring my rook up And push this pawn as well. All right. He, uh... I'm going to bring my king. If I move here, this is a fork, so I can't do that. Um, we'll move here and push the pawn. He comes back. I'll move here. I'm trying to stay on the opposite color square of my rook so that I can't get forked. Somebody in the comments told me that. Also, I would like to... Um, not exactly sure where he wants to move, but I'm going to just push this pawn now. I don't know where he wants to move now. He can't really do anything. I'm going to push the pawn. So. Crap. I'm just going to bring my rook over this way. A1. I have 16 seconds. He has a minute and 35 Um, we'll push. Queen on the board. Um, give a check to the king. Check to the king. Um, let's see. Check to the king, forking this. He can move forward. Um, check. Um, check. Check. 
check. Check. <clears throat> check. Just got to back up now. Check. Check. Um, let's see. Check. Check. I'm missing mate, but I'm sorry. I'm just playing fast now. Um, let's see. We can just take the pawn. This is going to be easier for me anyways. And that's ladder. So, all right. We won. I don't think I deserved, maybe, necessarily to win that game, but we can see. I'm so sorry for how poorly that game might have been played for a portion of it. 80.8% on my end, 79 by my opponent. Um, it was definitely my game for basically the whole game. So maybe I'm being a bit hard on myself, but mistakes were made. So we'll check them out. So this was inaccurate on my end castling immediately better so i kind of was saying that and i just thought maybe my king is okay where it is but they're trying to open up the board so it is better that i get castled so i took with the knight here the best move is to take with the pawn i'm not a robot it's probably a fine move and most of y'all would have played it but I didn't want to do it. I do see that if I did take with the pawn, the knight doesn't have a developing square. So with that in mind, I guess it's not a terrible move. It also is blocking anything from happening on this file. I can get castled. And uh, also this is semi open because I don't have a pawn in the way. So there's a lot of benefits to it. I guess I didn't read into it that much. But anyways, I digress. I thought this was a decent way to just go about getting rid of the bishop, but apparently it's like, nah, bro, you're crazy. Castle. And I agree. I should have castled. Um, I castle now. Best move. It was the best move for a couple of turns in a row. I developed my bishop. The best move is to throw the pawns. Um, I really wanted to play this move as well, but I don't know. We have bigger things to worry about. We ended up getting this trade. I'm still completely winning. I'm throwing pawns, kick the knight. I kind of thought something different was going to happen. I kind of assumed he might move the knight here, or if he tried to move here. I kind of had a plan for both of them, but I did not have a plan for him moving back. I didn't follow it up in the best way. The best way for me to follow it up was to just get rid of, don't worry about this pawn, and we're going to open up the board right here, which makes a lot of sense. This is slow. It stops. And it allows him to, I mean, I guess he could have played this anyways, but, and it's not a good move, but this was stu was a great move by me. But then this, I missed just sliding over, okay, or here. I also think that this maybe wasn't a terrible move. Um, yeah, it defends from the knight still, and it also, it just doesn't have the pressure on this anymore, but... I don't think we care because we're trying to win this. So I like this move, though. This uh, keeps pressure kind of on everything, and I still have eyes down the board. So I took the pawn. I just went for this trade. I was like, eh, we're okay here. Silly of me. I'm pretty sure the next move I made was a mistake because I should have just probably taken with the rook. I took with the knight. Taken with the queen is even better. Yeah. So this is where I started to have a little bit of a problem. He gave me a check here, and everything's fine. That's straight up a blunt. Like, I kind of was talking mad crap, and then he, like, it's because this e equalized everything. So I was completely winning here, like, plus two almost. And we have equal material, but my position is so much better than his because his king is weak. I made a grave error because I have a lot of things hanging. This is hanging, um, but I have a lot of pressure right here with all my pieces. So I don't know why I lost a little focus. I think um, 
taken with the knight was a big mistake and the computer agrees it equalized everything and uh he immediately blundered i got kind of carried away here i i get a little wild when a uh, <laughs> material gets traded but bringing my queen back would have been a smart move i didn't really know what to do here and i felt weird to leave my back rank with any rook and i was also thinking about if you guys saw moving this rook which completely hangs this one with checkmate so I'm glad that I didn't do that. I decided to give my king space. This was the worst way to do it. Um, weird that that actually is the best move. So king to a1 is the best move. Super weird. Um, <laughs> I don't think I would have ever guessed that. But um, I can't play the queen here to trade the queens immediately because the stupid knight defends. So I was kind of worried about that, but instead I end up just getting myself trapped in this nonsense. The pawn move was great because I was thinking about moving my king, but this there's no way for any of my pieces to get involved in it. This kind of just stops all the checks immediately. And uh, I wanted to push the pawn again, but then I was, I was like, no, 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 we got to do some other stuff. This was just an inaccuracy. I actually have a better move here, which is really threatening um and now the rook can't come to the back you know the back rank um also the queen can't give me a check immediately so we're safe here so i should have taken the opportunity after being safe and he just kind of moved his queen weirdly forward one move i'm assuming that his idea was something like that maybe like this to sack the knight i don't know i actually don't know what his idea was but i forced the queen trade I didn't want any tactic here where he wins my rook because it's discovery on my king, so I moved my king. Best move. Um, we give up the pawn with a check. I took this pawn. He takes that. I bring my king down. I went for a trade, which is not what I should have done. I should have attacked the knight. Um, I was so scared of getting forked, but for most of this, I did an all right job of keeping my pieces on opposite colors. I forced kind of a trade here, um, which I don't know if it made my life easier, but my opponent kind of lost sight of what was going on, and I have just a better means to victory than he does here. I kind of walked into like a series of knight jumps, which was annoying, but we get through it, I queen, and we finally win the stupid knight, and I get to bully him a bit. I was having trouble finding the checkmate, so I took and then we laddered. So I played like a 1350, you played like a 1250. We are rated 1082, which is a new peak. So, yeah, fun game. Um, sorry if I was a little off today. I kind of feel a little under the weather. So, hopefully, it was enjoyable for you guys. It felt like kind of a roller coaster ride for me, but the computer says that I was basically winning the whole game except for um, what? This move right here. This was a big equalizing moment for me. Um, him getting to take the pawn with check. But yeah, fun. We're on our way to 1100. Um, closest I've ever been to 1200. So yeah, it's good progress. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you next time.